All right, so I got an email that reads, Repression, what do you think about this situation? I find that I can really respect an academic regardless of creed, perhaps even find myself thinking of enjoying activities with them, but not kissing and certainly not sex. I find male gay sex to be kind of disgusting. Where do I fall? I mean, I find the female body to be much more intriguing and seductive, but I find the male mind to be much more homely. I am not disgusted by the male body. I give it respect in its strength and form, but male love is not something I feel attracted to. What the hell am I? Uh, I have maybe two or three comments on this. Uh, one is a irrelevant, uh, was somewhat tangential uh, uh, trip down memory lane for me. I remember when I was in high school and I had dial-up, so I, I can't look at, uh, let's say, uh, porn movies or anything. It was just pictures. And I, I usually looked at uh, solo pics, uh, just just naked guys, basically, nothing, nothing, nothing overtly sexual. And I, I remember I started looking at some of the more hardcore stuff, and I remember this one picture. Uh, there's this, this table. There's this guy on his back on it with his legs spread, right? And there was this other guy fucking him, basically. But you couldn't see the penetration. It was from an angle where you couldn't see it. And then it dawned on me, like, oh, my God, this is anal sex. This is completely disgusting. I, I was so disgusted that I didn't watch porn for a couple of weeks, you know. And so I think when we live in a culture that is homophobic, that is, um, let me pick my nose right, uh, that is that has certain biases uh, and you don't grow up with that stuff, then certain things are going to seem sort of gross. And I think a lot of people who look at uh, people who would say they're exclusively heterosexual, they would look at, um, let's say, um, uh, a straight porn. They would look at women and they'd be kind of weirded out by, you know, a vagina the first time they see it because that's kind of gross, too. So. Uh, so that's that. I mean, a lot of it is just taste. What, what, uh, you know, what, um, what do you call it? Um, what, uh, what you're accustomed to. Now, there's plenty of other ways that um, that that even gays can have sex. It doesn't have to be anal. So, you know, if you're disgusted by those, that's 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 that too. But anyways, I find it interesting that you know I, I get this this uh, this letter basically by somebody who seems to be a heterosexual male and then says, what the hell am I? You know, I don't fit in. I'm completely heterosexual. I'm not turned on by this gay porn. I, I find it interesting because uh, after the American Psychological Association took homosexuality off the list of mental illnesses, they retained uh, one diagnosis. It was, it was called ego dystonic homosexuality. And basically the point was that if somebody goes to a therapist and says, I don't like being gay, then the therapist could try to do something and try to turn the gay guy straight. So basically reparative therapy. And one of the arguments against the diagnosis of ego dystonic homosexuality was, well, but our culture is homophobic, so of course you're going to have gay men who say they don't want to be gay because that's what culture expects them. Uh, the culture expects them to be straight. You don't have such thing as ego dystonic heterosexuality. You don't have heterosexuals who go to a therapist and say, "What's wrong with me? I, I, um, you know, I want to be gay." Uh, so I find it funny that maybe we found the case of uh, ego dystonic heterosexuality here. That somebody is like, "Why am I not attracted to men?" Um, but anyways, I mean, I, yeah, I, I won't bother myself too much with, with the fact that you're not attracted to men since in this society that, that doesn't help very much. Um, advice, I suppose, uh, I don't know, look at solo pics of, of the male form, uh, and work your way up. Uh, you know, I don't know. It just, um, it's a lot of it is just about taste and what you grow up with and, you know, uh, that's that.